Hooker's Blades, outside of the forge. Hey everybody, back again. And today we are doing something a little different. We're playing with a bow and arrow. So I am no expert by far. I have barely shot this bow. I've just picked this bow up. I do have another bow that I've had since I was a child and didn't shoot it very much at all. Uh, that I'm gonna be practicing with once I get a new string for it. I just got the string for this. This is just a little 30 pound full recurve bow. I'll get a little bit of a better shot of it here in a minute. It's a 30 inch draw, 30 pound, just simple little archery bow, full recurve. Uh, it's composite of some kind. I also went out and I got a little archery glove for my fingers because I already tear them up enough as it is. And I figured this will help get a more slick release because it's smoother than my rough fingers from all the blacksmithing and everything else I've been doing. I've already been shooting a little bit today, working on not hitting the wrist, but uh, this is gonna be more of an update video. Uh, just playing with the bow and kind of chit-chatting. Uh, let me know if you guys like these kind of videos, if I should do these more often, or if I just should keep my mouth closed and stick to the forge. Uh, depends on what you guys like as content, but I am obviously planning on making more knife making videos, sword making videos, all that stuff. Uh, I recently had a pinch nerve in my back. So on top of the concussion that I went through and just finished recovering from, I pinched a nerve in my back and I had curvature in my spine growing up. That curvature is actually pulled straight, so I have pretty uh, pretty good amount of pain that I've been going through lately on my back. I actually took a two week break. You guys won't notice because by the time this video goes up, the other videos I did before uh, I got injured, they're gonna be going up while I'm recovering. But I'm recovered enough now finally to play with my bow and this will actually help me because my chest was kind of pulled in from the curvature that was in my spine and now that it's straight, it sticks up and out more. This will help kind of accentuate that, help me build up the muscles in my back and my chest to where they'll hold things where they belong. Enough about me, let's uh, get to shooting the bow. I've probably shot about 100 shots off this bow since I got it. I got it at the auction for $25. So it didn't cost me much, but I have been wanting to get into archery for quite some time and today's the first day of many. We'll probably do some update videos like this, as well as I wanted to say, A huge thank you to everyone. We have broke 500 subs. Um, by the time this video comes up, who knows where we'll be. But we broke 500 subs before filming this, just before filming it. Uh, until the 21st of September, there's a 25% off sale on my Etsy store, so don't forget to check that out if you're looking to get something from me. Now's the time, uh, at least until we hit 600 and another 25% off sale happens. But we do have 25% off everything. so quarter of the price off if you're looking for a sword, a knife, an axe, whatever I have up there, go ahead and get it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for all your support and I hope that uh, you tell a friend and maybe if there's some archery guys out there who know how to shoot a bow better than I do by far, can give me some tips. These are the arrows I'm working with. These came with the bow. As you can see, some of them are missing fletching. Um, I'm just working with what I got. They originally had some pretty beefy inch wide broad head kind of tips on there. I took those off and we're just shooting the wood tips into this target. I'll show you guys the target here in a second, but I have six arrows. Most of them have upwards of 80% of their fletching, so that'll be good. It'll at least create hopefully somewhat consistent shots. Um, so my, my accuracy might not be terrible. It might just be the arrows, but I, I'm not the greatest shot yet by far. So let's go over to the target and show you guys what the target looks like. So this is our archery target here. As you can see, we just got a paper plate duct taped to the front of a cardboard box that actually has three more boxes inside of it. And they're all filled with an absolute crap load of shopping bags from Walmart and Amazon and all that stuff. You know, reuse them as padding in there to slow the arrows down. And we've just got a solid particle board back that's taped in there. And this was free. It's all stuff I had around the house, just scraps and extra boxes that uh, were gonna get thrown away. So it'll serve a second purpose. See, I've got my target out there. It's about, about 20 yards, almost all the way across, a little ways away from the fence. So that way, if I miss, I don't put a hole in it. Mona Pizza and I are gonna show you uh, how crappy I am with this bow. So we've got an arrow, we've got a bow. 
we've got a target. The only thing left to do is attach arrows to said target. That was low, didn't even hit the paper. I feel like that's gonna happen a lot today. Just to the left of the paper. Just above the paper. Seems like I'm gonna be shooting around the paper rather than actually hitting it. If I was trying to hunt, I would not be getting a kill shot on anything. I mean, I'd be able to scare the food off, but that's about it. Just below it. So this is the guy that's only got one feather. Now he's got two, but, well, two and a half. <laughs> so this is probably not gonna go anywhere near where I want it to. Let's see. Way low again. So first five shots hit absolutely nothing. Let's try this again, shall we? Way too high. That actually hit the card, the, the particle board backer. Probably busted up the tip of that arrow pretty good, but that's the one that has like no fletching. If you guys know a easy way to make fletching, maybe like duct tape for like just at home fletching until I get better arrows, because I am going to buy some proper arrows. I just got these with the set, and I figured might as well make them last and play with them. You know, shoot the bow a little bit, get used to it before I get the, the good arrows. Oh, yes! Bullseye! Now that was... That was exactly what I was aiming for. Man. My first shot was way the heck off. That that has to be luck. If this doesn't land within that circle around the target, around the bullseye, there's there's no way that was actually me. <laughs> and as I shoot way off to the left, nowhere near the target. Just high into the left. So we got, looks like two on the paper on that run. And as you can tell, I've shot a few more times than what I showed on camera so far. I'm just having fun and I forgot to film. So far we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots that I'll consider on paper and one, two, three bullseyes. The rest were stragglers. So, I don't know whether it's the fletching on these arrows that is doing this to me, or just the fact that I'm a complete beginner, but if you guys have any tips on archery, drop them down in the comments below. As a blacksmith, I've always been fascinated with archery. Like I said, I had a bow that I shot a little bit as a kid, but never really got to shoot to practice with to get anywhere decent with. Um, this is going to be something I train on constantly to just add to my routine, do some man stuff and be a guy, you know? Eventually what I will do is I'm gonna learn how to make my own arrows. I'm going to eventually make arrow heads at the forge and probably a couple years from now, uh, I'm gonna make myself a real fancy metal limbed uh, spring bow.
So at this point, I wanted to show you guys, I am down to almost zero fletching on one of my arrows. This is how wild and unpredictable arrows can get. I am so glad I got that on camera. Um, without the proper fletching, they can do complete flips in the air. So I'm gonna have to retire this arrow until I can either get some new fletching put on it or just have it be retired. I might maybe take that piece of fletching off just to show you guys the difference, but we'll shoot this, this arrow that has one little bit of fletching left to it a couple more times just to show you guys what I mean about how, how much the fletching affects where the arrows go. So the arrow actually decided to fly nose down straight past the target, proceeded to bounce and flip pretty far. So this just goes to show how unpredictable an arrow with little to no fletching is. I'm just gonna take the last little bit of fletching off this and put some duct tape on it to act as fletching just to uh, see what happens. Because that'll probably be safer to shoot than what this is currently. So I'm gonna get the uh, duct tape fletching made for this one and then we'll experiment a little bit. So we've got our super sketchy ghetto duct tape fletching put on the arrow that had no fletching left. Let's see uh, how this affects its flight. See if it's anywhere near stable compared to what it was before. I'm actually pretty impressed that that even hit where I was aiming. Let's try that again and see if that was just a fluke. So it actually looks like you can jerry-rig some somewhat feasible fletching out of duct tape. I'm actually fairly impressed. That's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, any experienced archers, have you guys ever done this to try and save money? And is, if so, is this a good way to, to do it? Or is there a cheap way like this that's just easy to do? getting a bit too dark for me to keep filming. I am going to stay out here and shoot for a little longer and get some more practice in. But again, thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. Um, check out the Etsy store if you're looking for something. I've got a 25% off sale going until the 21st of September. So go ahead and jump on that while you guys can if you guys are looking for a custom made blade. Until next time, God bless. Stay sharp out there.